continue to ride past couple of days, but conditions improving, which is nice and no more ice storms on the way for a long time to come. Fortunately, this was a, a doozy. That is for sure. Um, I don't remember one this big in, uh, in my 26 years here. Uh, let's hope we don't have another one for a long time to come. Temps now sliding below freezing. Uh, we are seeing improvement today because of all the sunshine. A lot of my, uh, ice melt going on. No more tonight, though, because we are sub freezing. 28 Bismarck, 28 in Henninger, 26 in Williston, Minot at 29. Farther reach here throughout the northern plains, upper Midwest. We're at 32 in International Falls, but Winnipeg 18, but really no Arctic air to be had anywhere in the area. That's farther north into northern Canada here. Baker Lake at 12, but then you get to Fairbanks, Alaska, 14 below zero. A lot of that Arctic air staying bottled up to the north, and it has all December long, really all winter long here, and that's resulting in one of the warmest Decembers on record here. Look at that departure from normal between about Roughly 10 degrees and almost 13 degrees above normal. Many of us have not dropped below zero yet this winter. Now again, record breaking month. It looks to be on pace here for Dickinson, Jamestown and Williston as having their mildest December on a record. Things might change in January. We might finally be getting into that Arctic air. Not that we want it, but a more active pattern and colder weather by the middle portion of the month. But again, for December, uh, the warmest or at least comparable to, uh, let's say December 1997, it's second warmest in Bismarck. And again, all time perhaps for Dickinson, Williston and Jamestown. Got a couple days to go, but not much is going to change because again, we're not looking at below normal temperatures the rest of this year. Here we go with that system cut off from the main jet stream here over the central plains. That system is what gave us all the weather woes past couple of days, and now we have a clear sky with temperatures in the teens for overnight lows. Fog a possibility over northern and eastern North Dakota. That may carry over into the first half of our Thursday here, at least into the mid morning time frame, but sunshine into the afternoon for everybody else. Guess what? We're back to the good old days here like it was before this last storm. Not a lot of wind, sunshine, tranquil weather conditions, but at least we've got a decent travel day on the way for tomorrow. And again, through New Year's weekend, nothing like we had here for Christmas weekend. Seven day precip forecast taking us into early January. Not much going on in northern plains here. Dry conditions, little if any measurable precipitation. We are well displaced from the active storm track. And that means not a lot going on a boring weather pattern that is just fine here for the next several days. Temps here for New Year's Eve. Again, this would be on Sunday. Teens to the east, 20 central, 30s farther toward the west. And for New Year's Day next Monday, even milder thanks to west winds around 10 to 20, 30s and 40s for a majority of the first warm viewing area. Back to pleasant days here looking pretty good. Again, I think changes are on the way later on. January, we expect that after all with Arctic air, but for now, things are looking great. They definitely are. Can't complain, right? We're, we're back to great. We're, we're back to the greatness. That's right. <laughs>